Hello there, my name is Edward Charles Richmond, I'm an IT professional, uh, IT mentor, a software developer, and I've also written for uh, cybersecurity journals as well. That's uh, just to qualify myself a little bit. Um, in this video, uh, which is a follow on video uh, from opening PDFs, uh, we're going to be going through and looking at uh, how to edit PDFs uh, and the tools that come along with that. So, um, for people that uh, I am mentoring, um, it would be useful if you had looked at the opening PDFs uh, video, uh, and if you don't uh, or haven't looked at that, um, then obviously the accompanying PDF for editing uh, PDFs would be very useful. Um, so, let's look at um, this PDF. We can see on the left hand side here, uh, there's a table of contents. So uh, just by clicking contents, uh, we can see the pages that we have. Uh, you may not always get this. Uh, some documents can be, um, you know, incorrectly formatted or, um, you know, they may not have a list of a table of contents. Um, but just, just for sake of argument, uh, you know, this one does. And we can go and have a look at some information on here and uh, I've just noticed this one has um, an instruction well it's very important uh, we don't want to miss that so I'm going to highlight that in red and I'm going to use the, th the thick element here adjust the thickness of the highlighter all the way up and I'm just going to highlight that there so uh, when I come through uh, this PDF again um, you know it will be highlighted and I won't miss that instruction um, when using the highlighter option there is a text only highlighting option which you may think is more appropriate uh, I uh, prefer just to freestyle it uh, it's more like you're using a uh, you know a, a normal highlighter really uh, but you know you're more than uh, welcome to experiment with that uh, so then of course there's the draw option uh, I feel this works best uh, if you've got a stylus, if you're using a mouse, uh, it can be a bit all over the place. Um, but you know, you've got an array of colours uh, to choose from, and again, you can adjust the thickness. So let's go for some uh, a pretty chunky uh, line there. Again, I'll go for red, and let's just say, uh, you know, I want to draw an arrow over here. And maybe that links to there. I don't think it will, um, but it's just an example. Um, and perhaps even uh, I can put a number there. You know, one. And one might be up here. So we're very quickly, um, you know, getting an idea that, uh, you know, you can quickly annotate documents. Um, draw uh, lines, make it more relevant to how you would work. Uh, but then of course if you go wrong, it's nothing to faff about. There's a, um, a razor tool here, so obviously those don't link together and um, I've suddenly realized um, you know I don't need to label that one anymore and I probably shouldn't label that uh, with the uh, draw tool because I've got this nice text tool here so I can make notes such as uh, this is pretty cool and uh, I can make that red or black or green and I can make it big or I can make it small and I can stretch it out um, you know or I, I can uh, delete it as well so um, that is how uh, you use the tools um, so I'll just run through that again. If you want to highlight something, you just click uh, Highlight. Or obviously if you're on a smartphone or a tablet, you can just tap it. Uh, you choose your colour. Uh, run through the thickness, so you can have a really uh, thin highlighting tool. Or really thick. And then choose where you're going to uh, highlight. So for example there. Uh, 
I might want to highlight that. And then you can sort of just keep colouring that in. It, it will change the colour, you can see there. It changed the colour. Uh, just like a normal highlighter does, if you keep going over it, uh, the colour will get deeper. Um, the same with draw. Um, you know, we'll choose a different colour now. Maybe I had a question about this uh, portion. That's maybe a bit too thick. Uh, we'll erase that. So, maybe I had a question about this here that I wanted to raise later on, and I just drew a circle around it. Um, and of course, uh, as I mentioned, uh, you can erase things, so i decided I don't want all this highlighting actually. Let me just get rid of that. And it's as simple as you click on the tool, and then just drag over um, the edit that you've made, and it will get rid of it. Um, in terms of adding text, again, same thing. Just create a box and type the text in. So this is oh, this C. We're turning into Spanish. Uh, you know, and it hovers over the document. Uh, maybe line that up there. Uh, so there are other functions as well. Um, I won't do it just because I'm recording. Uh, but you can ask the um, browser or the reader that you have to read the text out loud uh, for the PDF. Um, you can also zoom in and out. So we can zoom out. Zoom back in. And this one here uh, will uh, fit the document to the width of the page. Or... Uh, you know, shrink it as well. So fit to width, and it fit it to the width of the uh, window. Uh, just to the right of that, you can see how many pages there are in the document. We can rotate the document. Makes it a bit harder to read, unless you want to crane your neck. Uh, but, you know, you can keep rotating it. Um, and then we can view two pages at once as well, or a single page. Personally, I think that's a bit harder to read, um, so I always view a single page. Uh, when it comes to saving or printing, um, you have a printer icon here. Uh, you can just click print and then select your printer, and it will print. And then you have a save option, so if we go down and we have some edits, uh, it will save those edits. And then we have a save as uh, button here as well. So you may notice in this folder I've got one that says uh, edited. So if you use the save as uh, button, it will save those edits. So if I just open this one here, you'll see I've drawn a, a very uh, squiggly, smiley face. And I think there's some edits down here as well. And I may have erased those. Uh, but you know, there's a smiley face on this one. Um, and that's how uh, you get two different versions of the document. In fact, if I... There we go. So you can now see uh, it's the same document, but on the top of this one, there's no sm uh, smiley face. But because this one's saved with a different name, um, it's the same information. It just has my edits on it. So if you use the save as uh, function, which is that uh, save icon uh, with a pencil, um, it will save your edits. Uh, the uh, two arrows there, I think of the best way to describe it there, it's two arrows uh, pointing away from each other, it will fit the PDF uh, full screen. So uh, hopefully now, once I've, I've clicked that, you are seeing uh, the PDF full screen uh, without any edits. And I will just click off that now. So to escape that, uh, you press the ESC button, otherwise known as the escape button. Um, so obviously through this video, we have covered uh, the contents, the highlight, uh, the draw uh, buttons, uh, the arrays and text uh, functions. Where we didn't cover the read out loud, 
um, but obviously do, do feel free to press that. Uh, the zoom in and out, the fit uh, and shrink uh, functionalities. Uh, how many pages we have, the rotate and the different views. All these will be uh, incredibly useful while you, when you're editing. Uh, and then, of course, uh, the different versions of uh, save and uh, print as well. So, uh, if there are any questions, uh, do feel free to email me. Uh, if I'm mentoring you, you'll have that email. Uh, and if you've just found this video randomly uh, on YouTube, then uh, you know you won't have that email. But uh, you know you're more than welcome to join and get some mentoring and uh, pay me some money which is always nice. So um, I will end this video now, and uh, if there are any questions, uh, do feel free to get in touch.